If you're in your 50s and you've ever wondered how to invest money in your 50s, you're asking the right question and you're wondering the right thing because you retire next decade. It's time to make sure we're taking it seriously and make sure we can make it happen. In this video, I'm going to give you the two places to invest your money in your 50s that will help you prepare for retirement. But make sure you stick around to the end because I have a free gift for you that will help you retire in five years, no matter your age, if you follow the system. Let's go. The first thing you want to do is play catch up. And I know that might sound negative, but we want to make sure that we catch up any soft spots in our investing until now and make sure that we rectify them as soon as possible so they have as much time as possible to grow before we enter the golden years of retirement. Because there are a couple benefits that the IRS gives to people in their 50s to help them prepare for retirement. And we would be fools to not take advantage of every one of them in order to fast track that experience and fast track my investment to make sure I'm ready for when it's time for me to retire. For example, the IRS allows people 50 and older to funnel another $6,500 to their 401k on top of the $19,500 that it usually allows. So now, instead of being able to put $19,500 into your 401k, you're allowed to put $26,000 into your 401k. And that's a great benefit for people in their 50s and you can see that grow as fast as possible until you retire. But take advantage of that tax-free money you can put into your 401k. You could also contribute an additional $1,000 on top of your $6,000 investment into your IRA. So you can usually put $6,000 per person into an IRA per year. When you're 50 and above, you can increase that to $7,000. Again, that's tax-free money that's going to continue to grow for you over time. And just so you understand what that looks like, adding an additional $1,000 into your IRA from the time you're 50 to 65 at a 5 to 6% interest can equal in the neighborhood of another $25,000 at retirement. So while you're only putting in an extra $1,000 a year, that's $15,000, that equals to twenty. dollars Four or $25,000. That's another 10 grand in retirement of free money if you leverage it. So that's where you can see these benefits can really, really pile up over time. And we want to make sure we know about them and can take full advantage of them as we move through our 50s and headed towards that beautiful day of retirement. And putting an extra $6,500 into your 401k every single year for 15 years will equal in the $160,000 range when you retire so that you are prepared to meet that day of retirement and having enough money to live the lifestyle you want. Before I go on to the next place, you should be investing your money in your 50s. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification and smash that thumbs up button. We want to make sure you get notified every single time we put out a video and our family continues to grow with people just like you who want to reach financial freedom. The second place you should be investing your money is in multifamily real estate. I know you know I love multifamily real estate, or if you don't, that's where I invest all my money because of how powerful of an asset it is. And here's why it's powerful. It gives you a couple things. Number one, it gives you cash flow. Every single month, cash is going to pour in from your multifamily real estate. And this is one of the benefits for busy professionals. You have a property manager who's managing that property, collecting the rents if tenants move out, cleaning up the units and getting it ready for a new tenant. They're doing all the work and we're collecting the profit. And so you can have them do all the work, collect that profit, it goes into your bank account and you're experiencing cash flow every single month. It's one of the powerful metrics of multifamily. You get to see that cash every single month. The second thing, is through forced appreciation. The reason multifamily is so powerful is due to forced appreciation. Forced appreciation just simply means you can force the appreciation by increasing the income or decreasing the expenses. There's a number in multifamily called the net operating income, and that is simply your income minus your expenses, not counting your principal and mortgage payment. And when you take your income minus out your expenses, that's your net operating income. And anytime that goes up, the property's worth more money. Well, how do you make that number go up? By either increasing the income or decreasing the expenses. And when you do that, it's worth more money. So that means if you get a piece of multifamily real estate, five units and above, 
Anytime the income goes up, the value of the property goes up. If you can save on expenses, the value of the property goes up. So you can really start to increase that appreciation. So you can buy something when you're 50, increase the rent, sell it when you're 53, and you have a lot more money, put that into another deal, save it for three years, put that into another deal. You can do this three times, four times before you go into retirement and have a really good chunk of money because of forced depreciation. But not only cash flow and appreciation, it also is recession resistant. Because multifamily serves a real need, which is housing and housing to people that don't own homes, the demand for multifamily has gone up and up and up and up. And multifamily is a huge and powerful asset to have. So, so many real estate investors really want multifamily because of its power, because of the fact that people invest in it, people can put their money into a deal and make cash flow out and see the appreciation. So, multifamily is really recession resistant. But here's another thing. Because when people lose their homes in a foreclosure, or if the economy goes down and we see a lot of foreclosures, multifamily is where everybody will move. They'll move to rental property. So rental property will become more valuable. That's a huge and really important thing to know when you think about what should I invest in and where should I be placing my money. I think definitely real estate, but even more specific multifamily because it protects against economic recession and it also gives you cash flow. Another powerful thing about multifamily is depreciation. There's something in depreciation called cost segregation. It's a tax term for you can actually speed up the depreciation. Usually when you own a property, you can depreciate the property over 27 and a half years. But in forced depreciation, you can compress that down into 10 years. So you can depreciate the asset like it is losing money, even though in reality it's gaining money and gaining value. That's a huge savings on your taxes and it can really, really help you in order to really see your income rise, financial freedom come and prepare for retirement. And another thing with multifamily, because you can force appreciate it and get more value out of your building, you can actually refinance it and pull out that extra cash and go buy another building. You can increase the value of the building, take out that cash through a refinance and go buy another building. You can do that over and over and over again. And this is why multifamily really can give you the ability to retire quickly and inside of five years. I have a free gift that I want to give you. It's my free multifamily masterclass. This masterclass really starts you down the road of multifamily investing and helps you prepare to start that process of retiring in five years. So what we want to do is get you as much real estate as possible so you can retire with ease and completely comfortable. Click on the link in the description, freemultifamilymasterclass.com. Click on that link. I'll see you in the training.